It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, just a few moments ago, we witnessed our Polish flag being raised. Uh, Chicago is a special place for Polish nationals, for Polish Americans. I can basically say we helped build this city. Polish immigrants are so significant to the history of this city and I'm pretty sure that without Polish immigrants this place this city would not be the same I'm proud to uh, represent Polish government here in Chicago we serve the community of 800,000 Polish Americans here in metropolitan area of Chicago these are huge numbers and uh, I'm proud that Polish Americans are contributing to this day to the well-being of this great nation. Um, I'm very honored to also see a lot of familiar Polish faces among us. Uh, some of the people will be awarded today and uh, they will have their own speech. So uh, I don't want to prolong my speech for too long. I just want to uh, express my gratitude uh, to the hosts of this great event that I could witness this great moment when the Polish flag was raised and Polish national item was sing. Thank you very much for your attention. Dziękujemy serdecznie panu konsulowi. Thank you. So let's meet today's honorees. Uh, uh, let's start with leadership award because uh, these are the leaders that uh, Polonia relies on uh, upon every day, regardless if it's political season or, or any important social change that impacts uh, ethnic communities uh, within the city of Chicago. For many years, we have one voice, a true dear friend of ours, Mr. Frank Spula, president of Polish National Alliance and Polish American Congress, born and raised in Chicago and currently a resident of Park Ridge, Illinois. He was elected president of the Polish National Alliance in 2005 and re-elected to this position in 2007, 2011 and year 2015. Former president of the Illinois Division of Polish American Congress in 2005, Frank J. Spula was elected national president of this organization. Leadership Award is hereby presented to Frank Spula. <laughs> Community. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's, it, I, I am honored to be here this afternoon and see so many familiar faces in the audience, but I'm also humbled by receiving this award from, from the clerk of the circuit court. You know, during Heritage Month, for one, because as a community, we have so much to be proud of, just like every other community living in this great country of ours. But the Poles have something, going back to the very beginning of when they in Jamestown when the first settlers arrived back in 1607. That's when the Poles arrived. And as a group, we were the very first ones in 1619. We'll be celebrating as a group that we protested for equal rights, for voting rights as a group. So we have so much to be proud of. You know, I accept this award on behalf of not only myself, but on behalf of the organizations that I represent. 
Sergio presented or announced that I'm the president of the Polish National Alliance and Polish American Congress. If I was not involved in these organizations, I would not be here this afternoon receiving these, this award because I wouldn't have the time to do this. And fortunately that I am involved with the organization that allows me the time to be involved in the community. And yes, uh, in, in listening to what Sergio presented, I've been part of the community for a very long time. And I'll share this with you. We have the elections coming up in a couple of weeks and we need to be engaged. And I'm not endorsing any party, whether Republican or Democrat, but we need to be engaged as a community to have our voices heard. And Dorothy Brown, as Clerk of the Circuit Court, has been friend of our community for many, many years. And I applaud her involvement in our community as well as the Chicago community. Clerk Brown, I want to say thank you, congratulations to you, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you as well for being here this afternoon, and happy Polish Heritage Month. Thank you. Maria Bronnecieśla was born in a Polish resettlement camp in Germany and migrated to America with her parents in 1948. Her childhood was spent in a small community in West Central Illinois and she graduated from Rosalie College in 1969 with a bachelor's degree in sociology. She and Richard are married for almost 48 years now and they are parents of four and grandparents of eight. Maria was active in Chicago's Polonia, her community, children's schools, and parish. She served as president of the Polish Museum of America for a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, Community Contributor Award goes to Maria Cieśla. You won't believe this, but I have just a few words to say. Um, this is such a great honor, and I'd like to recognize my husband and my children who always made sure that I was out of the house with all my activities so that they could do whatever they needed to do. And I'm also accepting this great honor, thank you so much, Clerk Brown, on, on behalf of my two greatest loves in the Polish-American community, the Polish Museum of America, and the legion of young Polish women in whom I was and still remain active. Um, if you have not been to the museum, please come and visit. And Mr. Drobot is not only the president of the Polish Roman Catholic Union of America, but he is the chairman of the board of the Polish Museum of America. And Misha is the vice president. And Bożena and legion of young Polish women um, thank you so much for allowing me to remain active as an older woman in the Legion of Young Polish Women. I was very proud to make my debut there in 1966 at the White and Red Ball, and from that time on, I became and remain active. So once again, I'm going to say three things. Semper Polonia, go Cubs, and please vote. This is Maria Bronicieśla, in action. She was a president of Polish Museum when I came here the first time, so I think it's mandatory for every public servant in the city of Chicago to just go ahead and purchase lifelong membership in Polish Museum of America. If you've never been there, here's a day off work. I'm giving you to go and check it out over at Milwaukee in Augusta. Polish Museum of America, what a great institution it truly is. Sofia Kowatek is a small business owner of a company that is longtime staple in the Polish American community. Be it from serving high quality foods that consist of organics and all naturals, food for dietary restrictions or any others. Continuing in her husband's footsteps, Sophie has helped numerous charities and organizations, but most notably, Sophie helps women that are victims of domestic abuse and women that have recently become widowed organizing a support network and works with many church organizations to help such women. Sofia Kowatek definitely deserves the award, Philanthropic Award.
Thank you and God bless you. And please try visit Kowatex Bakery and Delicatessen. Next up, an organization which is a staple for the community for many, many years. And it is also an example of what one community can do if we all work together. This foundation was able to make Polonia raise money so they can build a beautiful and modern house for children in need, in a critical need, that coming over from Poland to Chicago and here are being worked by the best doctors in the world from Chicago's Shriners Hospital. That and many more is a gift for the Heart Foundation. The gift from the Heart Foundation takes physically challenged children from abroad under its care. It is the only foundation of its kind in the United States. Over the past 25 years, the gift from the Heart Foundation has helped several hundred children receive modern medical treatments from the highest quality clinics in the United States. Humanitarian award this year goes to the gift from the Heart Foundation. much for recognition and the awards. Uh, we already know that the Gift from the Heart Foundation is helping the kids for 28 years. Uh, but we also have a program for the local kids with disabilities. Uh, we have the summer camp and the weekend activities for the kids with disabilities. Right now, under our wings, we have 11 children. And we're not talking about the children who has a cold. We're talking about the seriously sick children. There are eight kids in Florida, in Palm Beach, uh, where they got the diagnosis in Poland to get the leg amputated. Dr. Pali Institute, with his magic surgery, uh, does the thing that those kids walk. Uh, we get close to all the kids that come uh, to Gift from the Heart Foundation. One of the first girl was the girl who came on the wheelchair to Chicago she walked to the airplane and back to Poland. She was a painter. She was painting picture and giving the picture for our fundraisers. Uh, two years ago, it was Mateusz and Zuzia. Both of them, they were treated at Shriners Hospital. It was Zuzia's birthday. They asked her, what do you wish to get for your birthday? And she said, well, I want Mateusz to have a successful surgery and be healthy. That's what we do with Gift of the Heart Foundation. Thank you so much. So, personally being a journalist, I do come from lawyer family. So, believe me when I tell you, Pauls are not only great construction builders, but also great doctors and lawyers. Hello, Judge Marcelek. <laughs> This year today, uh, we celebrate the people that are helping the community on a daily basis, regardless if it's for pay, if it's pro bono, if it's a, a needy time. We have a plenty of uh, members of the community who, who always are ready to step in and help out. So, accepting the award for Advocate Society is Matt Schieder of Schieder Law Firm, who is the current president of the Advocate Society. It is an association of Polish-American attorneys. The purpose uh, of the society is to promote the welfare of its members, establish and maintain proper relationship with the general public, promote the progress of the law and the administration of justice, maintain the honor and dignity of legal profession, and to foster interest in Polish-American cultural heritage. Civic Award goes to Advocates Society. It's uh, truly an honor to step up and accept this award on behalf of the Advocate Society. And, um, and I see some of our members are here and some of our volunteers. Um, 
I, I think it's important uh, for us to continue to volunteer our legal services for the community. Um, just a quick little story that, uh, you know, my parents, my grandparents uh, immigrated from Poland and, uh, and, and settled in Chicago and, and, uh, and raised children, actually took in another child into their household and contributed to the society as they, as they uh, grew in the Chicago Polish community. Their son, my father, uh, became a Chicago public school teacher, eventually became the um, principal of Lloyd School in Chicago. And I then uh, grew up in the city and, uh, and owned my own firm and I'm now president of the Bar Association. I think they'd be proud, but none of us could do any of these things without volunteers from our community, such as yourselves, who uh, participate and volunteer their services in this instance uh, their legal services, and um, I thank the uh, Dorothy Brown for recognizing that. Thank you very much. They are phenomenal. We want to give a big round of applause to our committee, our Polish American Heritage Month committee, Ms. Anselmo, Mr. Adas, Ms. Shabello, Ms. Makula, Ms. Mahalik, all of our great, great um, committee members, and uh, certainly um, Ms. Kaloji also. And to all of our volunteers, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to our contributors, we want to thank the Polish Roman Catholic Unions of America, Pole Vision. Where's Pole Vision? Thank you for being here. Uh, Mr. Dresnik, the Public Information Department, and uh, uh, just thank everyone for being here.